UDOC's multi-form recognition adds metadata acquisition to your UDOC scan applications. This data is embedded into the resulting PDFA documents using the ISO standard XMP specification to maximize compatibility with other applications and document management systems. The captured metadata can also be used to construct the file name of the PDF, populate the columns in a SharePoint document library, or even add it to the destination URL or folder path for automated routing. In this example, we have a SharePoint document library called Invoices, which has four user-created columns for storing metadata. Now we'll demonstrate how to use UDOC's multi-form recognition to populate those columns. In the UDOX Administrator portal, click on the Applications tab and then select a scanning application to edit. Now click on the Application tab. Confirm the site and folder name of your SharePoint document library and the credentials for SharePoint access. Click on the Column Settings tab and then click Import Columns. After a few seconds, you should see a note indicating that all suitable columns have been imported. Scroll down to confirm the list of columns and delete any hidden SharePoint columns that may have been detected. Click Save. From the Applications tab, click to edit your UDOX application again and then select the Form Recognition tab. If this window has an Upgrade button, it means that your organization has created form definitions prior to the introduction of the multi-form detection feature. Simply click Upgrade to convert and import those form templates and select the ones that you wish to use with this application. For this demo, we're going to create a new form recognition template. Give this template a name, an optional description, and click Upload to select an example document. For best results, you should use a document that has already been scanned by your MFP so that the margins and scaling will match working data as closely as possible. Once a document has been selected, click the Next Draw Template Fields button. Now we'll draw bounding boxes around the data that we need to capture. To increase your drawing precision, most browsers include zoom functionality, Control plus and minus in Windows, and Command plus and minus on a Mac. Draw a box where the data will appear. Select the data type and format, then select the column that this data will populate. We'll repeat these steps for each piece of the data that we wish to capture. There's a special type of bounding box called an anchor. Anchors are used as a reference to correct variations in the scan geometry, such as the scan being squashed, stretched, or at an angle. Anchors can be made from any static element of your form. Whenever possible, create a minimum of two anchors with some distance between them. Click Save. Now, when we scan a document using our UDOX application, we can see that the SharePoint columns are populated with the appropriate metadata. If your UDOX application needs to support a variety of form layouts, you may create as many form definition templates as you need. UDOX will automatically determine the appropriate template to use at scan time, and no user intervention is required. Here you can see that we've scanned an invoice based on our second template, and the metadata from the form was accurately captured and used to populate the SharePoint columns. Form metadata can also be used to control the SharePoint destination URL. 
we've now added three subfolders to our invoices document library. Each folder is the name of a salesperson, and we want each salesperson's invoice to be delivered to their unique subfolder. Back in the UDOCS Administrator portal, click to edit our application again, and click on the Application tab. In the Folder field, add a forward slash, and then select Salesperson ID. Whenever the destination URL is derived from metadata, there is always the possibility that the resulting URL will be invalid due to poor scan quality or human error. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, under Error, and specify a backup URL to use. In our example, we have chosen to use the root of the invoices folder. Click Save. Now, when we scan a batch of documents, we can see that each salesperson's invoice is delivered into their folder. The salesperson Martel doesn't have a folder, so those documents are written to the invoice's root. UDOCS will never create or modify the SharePoint folder structure, so defining a catch-all error folder in this way is important. Finally, you may also use the captured metadata to construct the file name of the scanned document. Back on the Application tab, scroll down to File Name. We'll click in the box and select Customer Name add a hyphen, invoice number, another hyphen, and a GMT timestamp. It's important to add the timestamp to ensure unique file names. Click Save. And now we can see, in addition to the metadata columns, we have also modified the name of the file. UDOC's multi-form recognition is a powerful feature that can help you optimize your daily business workflows and archival processes. Visit us on the web at udocs.com.